Hello and welcome. I'm Brian and this is Smoking Hot. Today we're going to be doing a Caribbean Jerk Barbecue Chicken Taco. Who doesn't like tacos, right? And we're going to top that with a, with a homemade um, mango and avocado salsa. Everything's fresh. If you need the barbecue sauce, it's actually homemade and I'll leave a link to how to make that down below. Join me. It's going to be some easy cooking. We're going to be using a slow cooker today and it's going to be absolutely fantastic. We're going to shred up that chicken and it's just going to be full of flavor and it's just yeah and take that oh it's gonna be so good stick around join me let's have some good fun some eats if you want to grab a beverage mm, i probably would too so if you haven't if you haven't joined us before go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the ring that bell because i don't want you to miss the thing we're gonna have a good time we're gonna have some good food we're gonna have some good times and flavor come join me Okay, so it's embarrassing. I get the frozen chicken, uh, boneless, skinless chicken breast from Costco, and then the jerk sauce is homemade, and that direction to be down below. I just stick them into the pressure cooker or crock pot. I like to use the rounded part of it upside down so that the juices can get up underneath it while it's frozen. Just pour it on, slather it on, and I'm gonna add a quarter cup of water just to kind of thin it out a little bit so it'll get up on the bottom, so just so nothing gets burned. Leaving them in frozen is gonna be no problem. Put it on, hook it up, and I'm gonna set this for six hour time. So it's just gonna be slow cooking for six hours. And while that's going on, we're going to go ahead and we're going to work on our salsa. So we're going to use a half, I'm sorry, one quarter red onion, three cloves of garlic, a whole tomato, a bushel of cilantro, two avocados, two mangoes, the juice of one lemon and the juice of one lime. Salt and pepper to taste. I don't like a whole lot of that, but a little bit for me goes a long way. I like to taste the other flavors of the food. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix them all up, and then I'm going to chill it. So I'm going to leave it chill for a little while and let those uh, all the flavors kind of mingle a little bit while it's in the refrigerator. So I, I'd say at least an hour. Give, give me an hour on that, and you're going to be good. So we come back. The, the, the chicken's gone. I'm using a fork, and it's just coming right off. And I'm just kind of mixing it, scratching it with the fork, and it falls off all the parts, little pieces of stuff. And we let it soak a little bit in this juice. I'd like to do it for at least an hour while it's just kind of cooling down temperature. It's no longer like cooking, but it's just soaking up all that good juice. And trust me, you want the flavor to go in through all the meat. That's why we're doing this. It's just not on the outside. We're mixing it all up together. And you can see, leave it into the pressure cooker or crock pot. Either way, long period of time, super soft. Then we're ready. We're going to go ahead and we're going to ready to serve this. So I put them in a little dish here. See how I put this out for the family. It's ready to rock and roll. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to get ready for some tacos. You ready for some tacos? Yeah. So here's some tacos. So it's out nice and slow. Yeah. Not restaurant quality presentation. I'm going to give you that. But you know what? It's a taco, man. And who doesn't love tacos, right? Can I get, can I get a high five? Yeah. Leave your comments down below. I want to hear from you. All right, let's see how these things taste. Mm. It puts you on the sands of Jamaica. These are wonderful. Come get some. Oh, wow.